Today we're going to talk about rotating an image in PowerPoint. Let's look at how we do a before image, before the rotation, and then an after image using the rotation. So here we have our ballerina. Now please note the orienta orientation of the picture looks a little bit different for you. I'm going to refer to the ballerina as this is her left hand pointing to the right hand side. This is her right arm touching her right knee. And of course, the straight leg is her left leg. Even though on the picture, it, it, it's on the right orientation, but it's actually her left leg. Okay, now let's look to um, an image that is rotated. So here is the rotated image. In the previous picture, her left leg was straight, but now this is her right leg. Her left hand is touching her left knee, and her right arm is out. So let's take a look totally to visit the before and after image. So here, as you can see, this is her left image. Her body is kind of looking at you, but heading towards the left-hand side. And here, her face is looking at you, but her body is pointing to the right-hand side. So using only a few clicks, you're able to actually rotate the image over the y-axis from um, various different types of orientations. OK, let's practice and look and see how to do this. First, I need to show you how to select the proper picture to make this rotation happen. So I'm going to type in smiley face and then find the perfect picture to fit this type. Okay, so when we look at these images, these images that are displayed are smiley faces which are perfectly symmetrical. This would not be a good selection as the rotation would provide the same image that exists here. If you did use rotation, it'd probably be easier to copy and paste the image because it's exactly the same image. In this row, you can tell one out of four of the pictures work. So here, he's on a slant or on an angle, so this guy right here would work. The other three are perfectly symmetrical, therefore it would not be the best image to select. Okay, one image that I absolutely love is this guy. Hands are up, and he's actually looking um, towards the left-hand side. So he's positioned on the right, looking towards the left. He would be a great example to rotate. So let's go ahead and use him. Double click on him and then right click, copy the image, and then put it in PowerPoint. Now what I did is I actually copied him twice to do a before after on the left hand side and then an after picture. Here you'll see the other the exact same images so I'm going to work with the right image. To actually rotate this image you're going to click it to make sure there's a text box around it. Then you're going, up, going to go up to the top of the ribbon bar and click on Rotate. Be sure you double click on the image. Then you're going to click on the word Rotate. And there are various options. You can rotate right 90 degrees, rotate left 90 degrees, flip vertical, and then flip horizontal. For this project, I'm going to flip horizontal. And as you can tell, there's a change in the image. Let's just go through all the options. So here is a rotate right 90 degrees rotate left 90 degrees, flip vertically, and then flip horizontally. Now here, when you use flip vertically, you can actually just rotate him by hand, or you can make him perfectly at a 90 degree angle. Here is my favorite, and then I'm going to flip him horizontally. So before, he was facing right looking left, and now he's facing left looking right. So let's take a look at the before and after picture. So here, this is my first image and he's looking to the right, um, or positioned to the right, looking to the left. And now here, he's positioned to the left and looking to the right. So this is just one simple, easy way to rotate the image. Now, rotating the image is very vital to your image and visual design. For instance, if using him, text should be on the left-hand side, or on the right-hand side. If using him, text should be on the left-hand side. So orientation and position are very vital for visual design. Let's look at another example. So what I decided to do is a person sitting on a park bench. Let's look at images that display certain types of angles. Okay, so these are three images that came up. And the reason why I like these three images is here it shows you an angle in which she's sitting. So it shows you she's on the left side of the park bench with her feet going the opposite direction. Here the woman is on the right hand side going on the left. And here there's probably a husband and wife together looking at the park bench where she's on the left and he's on the right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the one on the left-hand side just to show how simple it is. So I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to right-click, 
copy the image, and then put it in PowerPoint. Okay, so now we have two images duplicated, and the reason why there's two, once again, is to show you the before as well as the after. So once again, I click on the second image, double click on that, click on rotate, click on flip horizontal, and as you can see perfectly, she's sitting on the left-hand side, and now I flipped her, and she's perfectly sitting on the right-hand side. So this is one simple way to talk about orientation and to provide the greatest visual design as far as rotating images. Hopefully you enjoy this presentation. Let's take a review of how to do this. Okay, so all I need to do is find the image that I want to rotate, and the key point is selecting the perfect image. Here he's going to the right, and I'm going to rotate him going to the left. I double click on the image I want. I then click rotate, flip him, and there we go. So here, if you can see, there is a before, he's going to the right, and now he's going to the left. Hopefully this tutorial helped you in how to rotate an image.